Asian film festivals across the nation have emerged. A recent addition to this list of film festivals is the North Carolina South Asian Film Festival. The first edition of the festival was held over the first weekend of November. Bollywood celebrity Chandra Chur Singh was the star attraction at the festival. TV Asia's Gauri Goli covered the story. With the growing popularity of independent filmmakers of Indian origin in the world cinema scene, many different Indian film festivals have started across the United States. The North Carolina South Asian Film Festival is hoping to make a name for itself in the list of these film parties. The organizers of the festival say they have tried to give the young and the undiscovered talent a chance to showcase their work. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be here. And first and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt sympathies for the tragedy that has hit the East Coast. But kudos to the triumph of the human spirit that despite such adver uh, adversities, we see all the people have got together and fought back the national calamity and the situation that we faced in the last uh, few days. And an example of that is this function which has been uh, put together by a whole lot of uh, cinematic uh, uh, geniuses, enthusiasts and uh, family. And I would like to thank the organizers. To be a pioneer in any area, you require tremendous courage. In as much as you require courage to make an independent film because you are fighting against uh, all sorts of odds to express your creativity. So I say hats off to the creativity and uh, the passion that the zeal the organizers and the filmmakers have shown to put in an effort to express their creative art. And cinema is the largest medium in the world today. And I hope that uh, this effort uh, is going to grow from strength to strength. And this is just the beginning uh, of a wonderful journey. This state needed needed a film festival because I went to the New York Film Festival and I realized there's a lot of independent filmmakers out there who are doing such a wonderful job and they're not getting recognized. Only uh, it's known in the West Coast or maybe in the Northeast. I wanted to bring about the talents here and there's a lot of talent around here in North Carolina. A lot of short movies that have been made and it was nice to bring people together in this community. Um, and showcase the talent in this film festival. So this was a good platform to showcase talent. Being uh, an actor and script writer, um, it kind of inspired me to uh, see this festival through and the whole process through with Gauri and try to make it happen. Hi, I'm Dean Logan. I'm the organizer of Let's Make a Movie, RTP. And today at the North Carolina South Asian Indian Film Festival, I'm showing A Step Outside and Das Bouquet, a couple of movies uh, that my group has made over the last year. And this is the premiere for this festival. We're trying to show movies created by, created with actors and of people who have, uh, from South Asia or India. Hi, my name is Harpreet Kaur. I'm the director of A Little Revolution, Ikniki Kranti, a documentary about farmer suicides in India. Um, this film is a personal narrative. It's my journey from Punjab to Delhi, along with children of farmers who have committed suicide, giving the children the opportunity to confront the government. Um, it's a story of simple dreams, hope, and empowerment. This film is called A Little Revolution. This is actually what we किसान खुद खुशी कर रहे हैं उनकी जीवनी पर है पर ज्यादा जो हमने फोकस किया है वो उनके बच्चों के ऊपर कि भाई उनके बच्चों की इस टाइम क्या दशा है क्या उनकी उम्मीदें हैं क्या उमंगे ने क्या सपने और सरकार की क्या जिम्मेवारी और सरकार का क्या रिएक्शन है उसके ऊपर ये फिल्म बनी है और ये फिल्म बनने के साथ जो बच्चे जो बच्चे इस फिल्म में थे उनके उनको सरकार से कुछ कॉम्पेंसेशन मिली है बट ओवरऑल अगर देखा जाए इस फिनोमिना में भारत सरकार का की जिम्मेवारी है कि किसानों की जिंदगी में परिवर्तन लाए सुधार लाए और अगर इंडिया बढ़ रहा है तो इंडिया गांव से भी बढ़े वी वांट दिस किड्स टू रियलाइज दैट दे कैन फाइट फॉर द राइट्स दे कैन कम आउट दे कैन राइट लेटर्स एंड दे कैन बिकम एंबेसडर्स If I could somehow inspire these children to use their voices to make a difference. If I could find a way to help them build their confidence. 
this internal sense of empowerment would really go a long way. The actions of the children are a slap on the face of the government, there's no doubt about that. There's no alternative for people. The doors of democracy are shut. The doors of the legal system are closed. The legislature doesn't want to listen to them. Who will hear the poor? Education for a few, health services for a few, employment for a few, money for a few, and the rest of the country can go to the dogs. If you take that approach, revolution is inevitable. We'll take a break here. We'll back, we told you we'd been showing you an exclusive interview with Bollywood actor Chandra Chu Singh. Mr. Singh was visiting the North Carolina South Asian Film Festival earlier this month, and we spoke to him on the sidelines of the event. Chandra Chur Singh received a warm welcome at the first North Carolina South Asian Film Festival. We interviewed him during his visit and asked him to share his thoughts on the growing number of independent films being made every year. I have great regard for independent cinema because in the past it's worked. Uh, the Blair Witch Hunt project, I think uh, that was an independent film which really did well. I think independent film is, is uh, basically, uh, you require a lot of courage to make an independent film because you're making for the love, love of cinema and the film, uh, if it's uh, got merit, which is so difficult to work on an independent film and make sure that it turns out well uh, with such lack of resources. And yet people have such creativity and if they're given a good, good opportunity that independent film can actually uh, provide good revenue, make great art. And I find, I find these makers very courageous Mm, and I find the films uh, pertinent. I find creative minds trying to find a foothold in the business of entertainment. And I feel that uh, they have a lot to say. We asked Mr. Singh about his visit to North Carolina. What did he like? Bombay is bustling uh, quite like New York. So uh, there's a lot of energy there. And I like uh, the quiet and the peace and the serenity of, of, uh, of country areas, of mountains of beaches which aren't too overcrowded. So I've spent a fair amount of my childhood and my formative years in places like this. So uh, there's a natural attraction to North Carolina. There's, it's beautiful, the countryside. Uh, there's a lot of silence. There's a lot of... Uh, it makes you... Uh, your mind is quietened a lot. It's a very meditative sort of an atmosphere. We also asked him about his upcoming films. I'm going to uh, repeat an oft uh, spoken about cliche that uh, there are, I'm in talks for some projects, which is true. Uh, <laughs> because there are, there are some interesting films that I'm uh, involved in right now. But uh, I've not committed myself to them because now, nowadays we shoot uh, uh, much like here. We shoot one film at a time and uh, if, you're, if you play the protagonist in any of the films, you're required to give a lot of your time. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just procrastinating between a couple of projects. And let's see, uh, uh, I have two releases coming up. Uh, one in the end of the year, hopefully, uh, and one in January. Uh, there's a film called Zila Ghaziabad, uh, which is about gangster uh, gangsters. It's, it's a, a dark noir film, uh, uh, very stylized, uh, very interesting. Uh, it's biopic, uh, I won't say more, but uh, it's about gangsters. Mm. And uh, it's been slightly controversial. And then there's this uh, book by Mohsin Hamid called The Reluctant Fundamentalist, which has been uh, worked upon for four years by Meera and Naya and made into a, a feature film with a lot of actors from, from America, a lot of actors from India, some actors from Pakistan. And uh, that's been premiered at the Venice and... Uh, at um, the, the, the Canadian Film Festival and been well appreciated. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, uh, look at, uh, at 
at both sides it's it's a very non biased and uh, very interesting film uh, to be a part of so now i'm looking forward to the to the release of these two films and i'm looking forward to doing lots of work because uh, i don't know why at this stage of my life i feel uh, it's very exciting because you can never be um, you know typecast as a particular person or you don't you don't have you're not confined to play to an image because a decade ago when i was working uh the romantic hero could not play anything else but the romantic hero so there was no scope for any negative roles or any comedy so there's no growth as there's no challenge for the actor but uh, there's it's only about the commerce so you're stuck in one place playing a safe uh, uh, role and now there's so much scope you can jump from negative to comic to uh, a serious role uh, it's so as as an actor it's it's very exciting Diwali the festival of lights is a great way to remember our principal